Welcome to Crystal Maker 10. In this tutorial, we're going to use Crystal Maker's new cavity finder to locate large cavities in a porous structure. And we'll use that command to add dummy atoms at the centers of the cavities, sized appropriately to show the effective amount of free space inside the cavity. We're going to start off with this metal organic framework structure. And if we rotate the structure, you can see that although it's rather complicated, there is a large cavity within this material. Now we can determine the coordinates of that cavity using the calculate cavities command. Now we can specify the minimum radius of the cavity that we're interested in. Because this is a very open structure, I'm going to specify three angstroms as my minimum cavity side and we have the option of generating sites for the cavity centroids. So if we click OK, Crystal Maker figures out where the cavity is in this structure and puts a dummy atom of the appropriate size in the center. Now, if we make this a space filling model, you can see that these large yellow sites completely fill their cavities and touch the surrounding atoms. Now let's switch to a polyhedral model. And here we've got our dummy sites in the middle. But here the sites are plotted as if they were ball and stick spheres. So we need to adjust the size of these dummy spheres to make them appear at their correct space filling size. Now, if we go to Crystal Maker's model inspector, you'll see that ball and stick spheres are plotted at 40% of their space filling radii. Now our dummy sphere is 6.63 angstroms in radius. So to make that appear the correct size for a polyhedral model, we need to divide that by 0.4. So 6.63 divided by 0.4, 16.58 angstroms. So we'll just edit that radius. And now we have the correct size. And the next thing I'm going to do is to just isolate one cavity and the surrounding atoms. I'm going to use the arrow tool and I'm going to click on the cavity atom to select it and I'm going to click on one atom in the framework and I'm going to right click and choose isolate selected fragments and now we have a nice model that shows the cage and the centroid atom inside that.